In this tough economy, more and more unemployed workers are returning to college to update their skills or change careers. Joining us now is Deborah Brown, Director of Worker Retraining, to share with us a program that can help. Welcome, Deb. Thank you. So Worker Retraining, it kind of says it's in its name, but mm -hmm. what assistance does this program provide? Well, Worker Retraining is a grant program that not only provides tuition assistance and book assistance for students, um, we have career advising, um, academic advising, and registration assistance. We also um, have resume writing classes that we help our students with and cover letter classes. So we give them the skills that they need to go back out and get a job. Great. So what are some of the vocational fields that worker retraining students can um, go into or study? Well, we try to put our students into programs that are considered in demand in the region. Um, we have things like business administration, accounting, we have a nursing program, an automotive program, welding, um, manufacturing technology, um, a lot of office technology jobs, medical assistants. So we have a wide variety, some one-year certificates and some two-year degrees. Okay. We also have um, short-term training as well. Okay, and I was going to ask you about that. I was, for those who are not may, might not be ready to go and put that commitment in for mm -hmm. a year or two, mm -hmm. oh, and tell us about the short-term training that is available. Well, what we have are computer skill building classes. These are classes that are considered open enrollment. It includes things like keyboarding, um, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Basically, it's the Microsoft 2007 suite. Um, these classes begin every two weeks, and so if we're in the middle of a quarter and somebody's really ready to get started on some short-term training, these classes are available for them. Great, and what's the benefit of taking these classes? These classes actually prepare people for employment tests. I know a lot of companies now test um, interview applicants for positions, and so we have a really good success rate with our students coming out of these classes and being able to pass pre-employment screenings. Okay, so who qualifies for worker retraining? We have a large population that we can actually assist. We, um, we help folks that are currently on Washington State unemployment. We also help people that have exhausted unemployment benefits within the last two years. We have a displaced homemaker portion of our program. That's for people that have not worked outside the home in the last two years. They've been supported by a family member and now they've lost that source of support. We help veterans who've been honorably discharged within the last two years. And we also have what we call incumbent workers. These are people that are working in the community. They either need to update their skills to remain employed or they are seeking degrees to advance in their company. So we do help a large population. It sounds like it. Mm -hmm. So uh, what if there's folks out there that think they might qualify or not sure? What, mm -hmm. How do they go about learning more about the program? We'd love to have them call our office. We have a very friendly staff, very helpful. Um, we'll try to find a way to help you qualify for our assistance. Uh, the phone number is 542-4446. And again, just give us a call and see what we can do for you. We, we try really hard to help. This concludes this month's Campus to Community. If you would like detailed summary on the topics covered today, contact information will be available at the end of our program. Visit us on the web at columbiabasin.edu or call 547-0511. For Campus to Community, I'm Don Alford. Thank you for watching. You can call me superstitious or perhaps down on my luck. But I find 13 suspicions under ladders. I won't duck I have looked for my good fortune for forever and a day then I saw you and realized the fates had smiled my way